Welcome. Welcome to Dancing Water. I'm Susan, and I am delighted that you are here for a Dancing Water practice. Today, restorative yoga with minimal props. I'm offering a practice today that you can do as all one piece, or any small part of it can be a little restorative snack that you can have at any time you need it. With that in mind, very minimal props today that you can find anywhere and you could actually have them in your office or in your bedroom or in any space where you might want to be taking a pause during your day. Let me just show you what we're going to use for, for props first and then, um, and then we'll get into our practice. As always, restorative yoga is as much an approach as anything else. So we'll be doing some very slow breath-centered movements, but um, it's also designed to be supported. So three things that you'll need. One is a small towel. This is just a small hand towel that you could be that you could use either as an eye covering or as a small pillow. You could also use a small, like a thin pillow. It's a little trickier to use that for your eyes, but it's completely up to you. Just a little something for support. Then two bath towels, and let's just fold them together so that we know how we're going to do this. We're going to take two bath towels, take them, fold them in half, fold it in half again, and then fold it into a square. Right? So you've got this rounded edge. And then fold this, the other towel in the same way. Fold it in half long ways. And then in half again. Get a little, get a little particular about it. Get all of your edges lined up because it makes a difference for your body to have a smooth surface. And then fold it into a square. Like that. And to begin our practice today, just stack them, those two, on top of each other and use it as a little seat. And you can do another fold if you'd like your hips a little bit higher. Or you could just sit in a chair or sit in any way that's comfortable to begin our, our time together. Today, anchoring our attention on paradox and contradiction. We both have both in us all the time. Paradox, these things that seem like they don't make sense, but when we look deeper, they do. And contradiction, oppositions, things that are out of alignment, not just in our bodies, but in our minds, our hearts, our organization, and our culture. These contradictions are a tremendous opportunity for healing in that they give us the chance to make a choice to come into closer alignment. And this is ancient wisdom. The wisdom of paradox goes back thousands of years. In the second verse of the Tao, under heaven all can see beauty is beauty only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good only because there is evil. The difficult is born of the easy. Long is defined by short, the high by the low. Before and after go along with each other. So we will, as a physical anchor for our practice today, be using diagonal lines and twists in the body to find both the paradox of diagonals and twists and the possibility of alignment within diagonals and twists. Let's begin with some breath. Find your body in alignment. So find your way into a seat that feels upright but not rigid, relaxed and yet alert. Take a deep breath in, smooth and even, and then let it go out of your mouth. 
Breathing in through your nostrils, inhale. And then exhale through your mouth. And just feeling the following with our imagination through alternate nostril breathing. Without doing anything in particular, just following your breath, noticing an inhale through your left nostril. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Exhale through left. Just noticing the sensation. Inhale through left. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Exhale through left. Again, in your own time. One more round in your own speed, at your own depth. Inhale through left. Exhale to your right. And finishing the pattern, inhale through right. Exhale to your left. Keeping your breath going, inhale, both hands up. Exhale, left hand to right knee and looking over right shoulder. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, left hand falls on right knee. Inhale, right hand falls on left. One more each side, following your breath. Letting your body, yourself, land, arrive in this practice. In this time you've given yourself. And then inhale, both hands up and down. Rest in your, in your lap. Let's begin our postures today. Taking your eye pillow and just having it up handy near the top of your mat. And a reminder to make sure that the surface underneath your practice is soft. I have a carpet and um, a, uh, a blanket, but you can use a yoga mat, but just make sure that it feels very supportive. Taking your two towel squares and separating them slightly. So there are just a few inches in between the two squares. And then take your hands just at the bottom of the top square. Spread your fingers wide, lots of space between your fingers. Tops of your feet relax on the floor, knees right under your hips. Inhale, lift your head and tail. And exhale, draw your belly in and round. Just a couple of rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, lifting head and tail. Exhale, lifting belly. One more time. And exhale. Then, planting your left hand down, inhaling your right hand high, and thread it underneath your left, letting your shoulder land in between the two towels, 
and extending your left hand long overhead. Feeling your shoulder relax, take a breath into your right shoulder. Then draw your left hand back right under your shoulder, push down. Right hand unfurls up and then down to the floor. Let's do it on the other side. Plant your right hand, fingers wide, reach your left hand high and thread it down under and through so your shoulder rests between the towels. Right hand reaches long. Breathe some space into your shoulder blade. Relax your jaw, relax your breath. One more round of breath, inhale. And exhale. Right hand comes under the shoulder, push down, left hand unfurls up and down. Then taking your right hand to the left side, reaching your right hip and your right hand away from each other. So just finding the diagonal, you can stack your hands, you can drop your head, feeling the diagonal line along the right side of your body. You can shift your hips a little bit. Not a big stretch here, going only to like 40, 50%. Leave lots of space for sensation and adjustment. And then both hands come back to all fours, a little movement through the spine. And then left hand reaches along to the right side. Left body opens, not overdoing. Just finding a gentle opening along the diagonal line from hip to hand. Breathe as deep as you can. One more time. Mm. And then one more time, come back to all fours. Just moving your spine around a little bit. You can cat cow if that feels good. Wag your tail. Notice any patterns of diagonals or spirals that feel good here. And then gently draw your two towels together. So you have now what is like a small bolster. Taking your belly down into what I call a diagonal lizard. So take yourself down with your left leg long and your right leg long, right arm long, right knee bent and left hand bent. So just notice this diagonal line from your right fingertips all the way to your uh, left toes. And you can play with the placement of your leg. You can have, and your arm, you can have them sort of more toward the corners, or you can have them more parallel with your body. Just right now, just feel what feels best. Make any adjustments that allow you to feel some ease, and then just let yourself land in the support underneath you. Your cheek soft on the towel. Notice what the folded sides feel like and the long sides feel like. Noticing the spaces in between. Letting your exhale breath smooth out your tailbone.
rib cage softens with every exhale breath. Notice any tension in your palms. See if you can spread them out and let them rest. Any tension in inner thighs on either side. And then just take one more big round of breath. Intentionally fill your body. And exhale. And then gently and smoothly shift side. So extending your right leg long, your left arm long, and bending your right arm and your left leg. I recommend shifting your face to the other side so your other cheek rests on the towel. I'm going to stay here so I can stay connected to you and you can hear my voice. Throne postures, belly down postures are really good for a, a rattled nervous system. It's a way of signaling to your body that you are safe and protected. But just notice the sensation of your breath, particularly on your front ribs. Feel the sensation of them opening, expanding into the earth. As you exhale again, feeling the weight, the smoothness along your tailbone. Notice the two sides of your hips and your two shoulders. And taking a deep breath. Letting it go, maybe making a little sound. <sighs> then very gently, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Slowly push up, lifting your chest. Just come as high as you like and come down. Bending the other knee, push down, inhale. Higher is not better. Again, going to 40 to 60% of effort, leaving lots of space for feeling and healing. And then extend both legs out long and push down one more time. And exhale down. Pushing back, just very briefly into child's pose. Feeling the sensation. Dropping your forehead. And then very slowly come up to alignment. So feel yourself stack with your head over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips. Dropping your tailbone aligning your body. Ooh. Now, taking these two towel squares, and I'm gonna fold my squares in half, so they look like a log. Taking one about a third from the bottom of the mat, and the other about a third from the top. One of the things that's great about using towels as props is that it's easy 
to adjust them. You can make the fold higher by folding it into thirds or lower. You could just go back to the square. So we're going to take mountain brook pose. So I invite you to find the height that feels best for your body. This towel is for the knees. And then this one is for under your chest. So right under your heart. So extending yourself down, using the support of your hands slowly. Come down. The idea is that the props are like stones in the river and your body is like water rolling over like a brook. Taking your eye covering, your small towel, your pillow, and supporting your head. So here, we want to put that support in such a way that the chin is tucked in. You can see that if I don't have the towel, my chin is lifting up toward the ceiling. And this gives the signal of alarm to the nervous system. So we want to have the chin tucking underneath. Your hands can be in soft cactus with elbows bent, or they could be down by the sides or resting on the body, if that feels good. Let your, your feet flop out so there's some external rotation through your thighs. And let the bones of your legs and feet just be heavy. Just pour them down like water. A pool of water at your hips, resting in between the two props. Ribs, chest floating on the support of the prop. and head supported as well. Neck is soft, shoulders soft. Gently taking your hands just for a few moments, taking your fingertips very lightly at your hairline and drawing two spirals down the center of your forehead, and then curling up at your eyebrows. So drawing two little curly cues down and up and around. And then let your fingertips gently brush from the center of your forehead out to your temples, very lightly, feather touch. And then let your hands rest again, wherever it feels comfortable. Imagine the flow of energy, like water flowing, on diagonal lines, spiraling and eddying in part points of contact. Allowing yourself to observe how your body has landed here noticing any places that may be out of alignment and giving yourself permission to adjust any places where there feels like there is a contradiction. Feel how when we adjust into alignment, there is more flow and more ease. Pooling 
into the centers of your palms. Floating in the arches of your feet. Cooling in each eye like little puddles of water. Floating at the roof of your mouth. Allowing your breath to do exactly as it wishes without interfering. Allowing it to go deep when it needs to go deep to be light when it needs to be light. With the gentleness, just noticing where your thoughts are alighting. See if you can align them with presence. We're going to transition to another posture, and I invite you to use this transition as part of the practice, to be very slow and gentle, using your breath to help. So very gently, tuck your elbows in and push yourself up and shift this top towel down toward your sacrum, bending one knee at a time, lifting your hips, and taking your towel log to right underneath that broad bone of your hips. Not your lower back, but your hips. So you should feel a gap. You should be able to feel some space underneath your low back. Then take your feet onto the bottom towel, take them to the edge of the towel logs and let your knees rest at center. Now you can check out your head here. For me, I'm, I'm pretty good without any support underneath, which gives me the opportunity to use the towel as an eye covering, which is another wonderful way to signal to the nervous system that it's okay to relax. But if your chin is pointing up, best to just close your eyes and support your head. If that's the case, another thing you can do is very gently rub your hands together and very lightly let your heels of your hands rest on your eyes. So just feel yourself here. Feel the points of contact. Notice how they're different than the last posture. Notice different parts of your body are away from the floor. And you're welcome to stay right here 
feeling yourself relax right here. If you like, you can extend your right hand overhead and your left leg long so that your knee is resting on the bottom towel. Feeling that diagonal line. Just another couple of breaths in your own time. Either coming back to two feet relaxed on the towel or staying here. If you stay here, you're just going to stay here. If you'd like, you can do the other side, lengthening your left hand long overhead and right leg long. See if you can relax the hinge of your jaw. Relax your ankle joints. Let go of any holding in your hips. Then everybody come back to two feet flat on the floor, two palms down at 45 degree angle. And then if you like, both legs can extend just for a few breaths. And I'm going to push this top, this bottom towel away so that I have a little bit more opening through the front of my hips. You make a choice about what feels best for your body. But especially when we sit a lot, these are muscles that are great to just allow to get some length in them. Imagining your breath spiraling down your spine and up as you exhale. Inhale. Draw a spiral of breath all the way down to the bottom of your spine, your tailbone. And then exhale, let that spiral come back up and out. This is a posture that I often stay in for quite a long time, sometimes as much as 20 or 30 minutes. And it is also has tremendous benefits for just a few minutes. So if you'd like to stay here, you're welcome to. If you'd like to come to a Shavasana, that's a final resting pose with no props at all, you're welcome to do that. And pause the recording and come back and close when you're ready and whenever you're ready take one hand overhead bending both knees in draw them in toward your chest as you exhale 
and then roll your knees to one side and pause here for a moment. Feel your body rest on the floor and then slowly push down and again, feel yourself come into alignment. Oh, like sand pouring down through an hourglass. Feel that sensation of dropping down a straight line, that relaxed but alert posture. So feeling the power of this restorative practice, this choice to not overdo, to, to effort only 40, 50, 60% to allow space for the body to unwind itself. Even small choices, taking just a few minutes to do any of these postures or anything else that supports you with that approach is restorative and is essential for moving skillfully through the world. So taking a cup of tea, or some water, just to mark the intention of embracing the experience both of paradox and of contradiction. Both are opportunities for healing. Thank you for being here, friends. My name is Susan. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share, post, like any videos, any practices that are of benefit to you. It is my hope and desire that this net of love is extended to anyone who needs it, no matter what their circumstances. You can find me on my blog at focuspocusnow.com and at my website at susanmcculley.com. Please reach out and let me know how I can help more. Thank you for being here. Mm. Mm. I'm so glad you were here. Have a great day. Mwah.